Robinson. I'm the director of the National Center for Asbestos Related Diseases. Now, this is an NHMRC funded National Australian Cooperative. I've been a doctor for 40 years and for about 30 of those years I've been involved in looking after the victims of asbestos exposure with their various diseases, caring for them and their families, but also uh, conducting research trying to reduce the burden of asbestos diseases and frankly to cure asbestos cancers. I'm a founding director of the Bernie Banton Foundation. I knew Bernie and his widow Karen is a close personal friend and I'm very supportive of what they're doing. When you think about it, one of the things that Bernie was passionate about was trying to stop people suffering from asbestos cancer in the future. And he knew, and we know, there's only two ways to do that. The first is research, because a lot of people who are going to get asbestos cancer, particularly mesothelioma, have already got the asbestos in their lungs. So we've got to fight really hard to try to cure this disease. And NCARD is making fantastic progress, very exciting work, trying to crack the genetic code of mesothelioma, make vaccines, new treatments. But there's a second way to make an impact, and that's to stop people being exposed to asbestos into the future. And whilst there's very little occupational exposure to asbestos now, compared to say 20, 30, 40 years ago, there's still exposure, incidental exposure in the environment, but also exposure, for example, with home renovation and people who just aren't aware. So I'm very supportive of the development through the Bernie Batten Foundation of the Asbestos Education and Awareness Unit and very supportive and I hope you will also be supportive of the Bernie Batten Foundation and their efforts to improve education and awareness.